what we're gonna do now is actually set up our automation. So whenever somebody now goes to our landing page and gives us our email address, now we're gonna set up that there will be an automatic email sent out to every new email subscriber. And the way we do that is by going to the top and clicking on automation. Okay, so now we don't have any workflows yet, so we're just gonna click on create your first workflow. Okay, now we give our workflow a name, so I'm just gonna call it um, example workflow and we wanna select a trigger. So the trigger is whatever gets people on that workflow. So you can choose um, if they complete a, a specific form or if they join a specific group of, of your um, MailerLite account. So I'm just gonna use this one. I'm just gonna say whoever joins my group here, my email list is gonna be put on this workflow. So I only have one group here, so I'm just gonna uh, select this group right here. You also can repeat the workflow whenever somebody rejoins your group here. I'm not gonna do that because I don't see the, the reason why they would need to get those emails uh, twice. So I'm just gonna click on save right here. So now everybody that joins through our landing page will land in this part here. And then what I wanna do is I wanna send an immediate email to them, giving them my checklist. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign here and that's where I have four different possibilities. Again, I said I wanna send them an email, so I'm gonna click on email. Now, um, we don't already have set up an email yet and that's what, what we're gonna do now. So on the right side, you have all the options for the email and you can send, you can actually create the email right in your workflow um, builder here. So I'm just gonna name it, um, here's your free checklist. That's the subject of the email and it's from me obviously. I'm gonna use this email address to send it from which we have just verified and now I'm just gonna design email and that will take us to our email editor that we'll use to create our emails. Now you have some different um, editors that you can use to create emails. So there's this one which is more for a visual email with a lot of images. Um, what I tend to do is just create simple text emails because they look a lot more personal and um, it's a lot easier and you also have a higher chance of actually getting delivered into the inbox if you just use text. If you use too many images, then the chances are higher to actually end up in the spam folder. So what I'm gonna use for this tutorial is the rich text editor here on the left side. So I'm gonna click on choose and that will take us inside of the email editor. All right, so this um, is our basic layout here and you already have some sample text on your canvas and there will be always kind of this divider here and on the bottom you'll, you'll have your name that you have um, signed up with and your address and then you always have to have the unsubscribe button at the bottom of your emails because that's kind of, you legally have to have that so that people can unsubscribe from your email list whenever they want. Um, some countries require you to put your address in the, on the bottom of every email, your company address. So just check uh, your local laws and everything and make sure you comply with them. Um, I'm just gonna lead it here. Uh, and now I'm just change this text to don't want to receive my emails anymore and then they have to the unsubscribe button if they wanna unsubscribe. Now don't worry if people unsubscribe, that's actually good because um, if people don't unsubscribe and they don't open your email addresses or your emails, then that will hurt your deliverability. So you wanna make sure that people actually unsubscribe if they don't wanna read your emails. So um, now you can actually start to write your email. So just for this tutorial, I'm gonna write something very quickly. So I'm just gonna say hello and I wanna make it personal, so what I'm gonna use is a token, and I wanna say like if somebody named Peter is signing up for my email list, I wanna say hello Peter. And the way I do this is by going to the top here on this bar, and then on the right side we have a variable, and we're gonna use this variable. Now, you have different options here, so I'm just gonna use name, because on my landing page they can, type, they can enter their name, so I know that this will then put the name of whoever, um, of whatever the name is of the person that signed up. So I'm just gonna hello and um, gonna say thank you for signing up for my email newsletter. And then I'm gonna, 
I'm going to give them the checklist that I've promised them. So here's the free checklist that I've promised you. And now I'm going to um, put actually a link to a Dropbox folder where I have put my checklist. So I'm going to say click here to download the, the checklist. Now to make this a link, I'm just going to highlight it and then I'm going to click on this link icon. Now you can just insert the link to your specific Google Drive folder or your Dropbox folder or wherever you host your lead magnet. So for me, um, I'm not going to look uh, what link this is. So I'm just going to uh, link it to dropbox.com. Uh, make sure this is the correct link to your lead magnet. Now I can say it should open in a new window, in a new tab. So I'm, um, I like this actually. So I'm going to click this one and the text I already, I want to leave it like that. Okay, so insert and now it is underlined and it's actually a hyperlink. So when people click on it, um, they will get to the Dropbox folder. Now again, I want to make it bold so it sticks out a little bit. You can also change the color here on this one, um, but I'm just going to leave it black for now. So um, again, I'm going to finish the email by saying, let me know if you have any questions at any point. And then I'm just going to say, um, Simon, and that's it. So again, I can just delete this one right here. Okay. So let's say that's email, that email is fine. Obviously you want to spend some more time on it, create actually a very, a very good looking email and don't copy what I'm writing here. Just write however you would write your emails because the more personal it is from you, the more people trust you, the more people build a relationship with you, which is very important in uh, marketing. Okay, so let's say this is my email finished and done. Uh, I click on the top right here, done editing. Perfect. So now whenever somebody enters their email address on our landing page, then they will be sent this email right away. Now, um, obviously, if you want to promote something, for example, you will keep sending them emails. And that's very cool here in the workflow feature that we can continue to actually automatically send them through a certain email workflow and we can continue to build out this workflow. So let's say um, I've sent this email, they have signed up and then I wanna wait a day and then send them the next email. So let's say I wanna give them some more tips and send them back to my, um, maybe back to my checklist. Um, another thing I wanna show you is you can actually and check if somebody opened the email and if they didn't open, you can resend the same email, but with a different title. So then um, you get some more leads maybe, or just people have missed your email, so it'll resend it. I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So you click on the plus sign here, and then you click on condition. And then on the right side, you can choose, um, you can choose, I think it's campaign activity. No, it's workflow activity. And then um, it's the activity on this email, the here's your free checklist. And then I'm gonna click on was opened. So every everybody who opened the email will go to the left side here and everybody who didn't open the email will go to the right side here. So for both, um, for both options here, I wanna put in the delay. So I just don't wanna send them something again immediately. So I wanna, do a delay of one day. And then on the right side, who didn't open, also a delay of one day. Wait, um, days, wait one day. Okay, so now let's say um, everybody who did open the email, I wanna send the next email. So again, I do the same thing that I did before, I'm gonna create a new email here. And here on the right side, I can create also a new email and maybe it's the same email that I've already sent them because I know they didn't open the email yet. Obviously, if that's a little bit too overwhelming for you with all the conditions, you can just delete everything here and just put in the delay, like wait a day and then, and just create the next email. So um, wait a day, create a new email, wait a day, create a new email. And that's actually how you build out your entire workflow and you can build out your workflow for month or even years. Um, so whenever you get a new email subscriber, um, you will continue to send out emails to your email subscriber. 
All right, cool. So what I'm going to show you next is how you can send individual emails to your entire list. So for example, if you have a new blog post or if you have a new um, YouTube video or product that you want to promote, you can just send one specific email to all your subscribers. So we're going to save our workflow here. I'm just going to delete that. So we only have one email in there. So I'm going to activate the workflow by going to the top right and, and going to on. Now the workflow is active and that's it.